I hit a horse. You hit a horse? Yeah, and I'm bleeding, and the car, my car is just totaled. A group of horses run away from home and meet a trench again. Deputies spent the morning rounding up those who survived and looking for answers about why others died. Alexa Ashwa with new information on what happened. Check out this damage to Keith Lear's car after colliding with a horse. The last thing he expected to happen on his way to work this morning. A tragic and unusual sight here on US 36 outside Covington. Horses struck and killed by oncoming traffic. Uh, the first couple swerved out and around, and about the third or fourth one in the pack, his back end come up, slid up the car and broke the windshield, tore the mirror off, but then it's down the side of the car. Keith Lear says it was dark and didn't see the herd of horses running towards him until it was too late. Neither did the car behind him. When I got out to call 911, uh, tires squealed and, and a guy behind me, about 100 yards back, hit a, hit a horse and killed it. Six horses were killed when approximately 35 of them escaped through an opening in a fence at this farm. I went to the house and talked to, I think it's his daughter-in-law, and he, she said three to seven missing. Residents quickly pitched in to round up horses still missing, searching using four-wheelers. Wayne Atkins and his daughter by horseback. Us, we saddled up so we could cover some ground that the other people couldn't, but everybody just come to try to help because this is such a tragedy for the entire horse community to see something like this happen. Wayne describes what was most likely going through the horses' minds. So when they get out, they kind of revert back to being wild. They just run and carry on, and they get completely out of control. And they can cover 8 to 10 miles just in a few hours. Keith says his car can be replaced. His heart goes out to the horses and the owners. It's not the horses' fault. It can't be mad at them. Can't be at the people. You know, the people that own the horses. It's a, it was just an accident, and them horses were just scared to death and, and didn't know what to do. Reporting in Miami County, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News, working for you.